Let's write a C program to check if the user entered point x comma y lies on x axis or y axis or on the origin that is 0 comma 0. But some people get confused and write program to check for check if the point is on is in first, second, third or fourth quadrant. But that's not the problem statement. We need to check if the point lies on the origin that is 0 comma 0 or on these lines that is on x axis or on y axis. Okay. So first thing you need to know is while mentioning the point we need to write x axis value first and then y axis value. So if the point is 0 comma 5 the point lies on y axis. If the point is 5 comma 0 then the point lies on x axis. Okay. So the condition is if x is equal to 0 point lies on y axis if y is equal to 0 the point lies on x axis. So with that logic in mind, let's get started with our C program. So I'll take two variables of floating point type x and y and I'll ask the user to enter the values for these variables. And store it inside the address of variables x and y. Since these are floating point variables, uh, I'm writing the format specifier percentage f. So the condition, if, if I write x is equal to 0 and y is not equal to 0, then the line, then the point lies on y axis, right? Next, I'll need to check again for y is equal to 0 and x not equal to 0. So instead of that, let me write like this, x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0. In that case, uh, the point lies on the var on the origin. Else if I'll check only for single condition now, x is equal to 0. In that case, point lies on y axis. So else if y is equal to 0, in that case, point lies on x axis by our logic uh, we saw on our chart. Okay. So let me print out the message to to the console window. So the point lies on the origin. Let me copy this. So this is very simple. Uh, if you if you get confused, just go to the chart and and draw some points as a, uh, write the x value as zero and y value as some positive value. And next you give x value something positive and then some negative value for y and then check it. So if these three conditions are false, in else case, I'll write point neither lies on x axis nor on y axis. Okay. So we'll check for all these four conditions. Once we run this program, let me compile this first. Okay, let me run this. I'll give zero comma zero. That means the point lies on the origin. Okay. So let's write 0, 10. Okay, 0 is x axis, 10 is y axis. Okay, so let's try for the reverse of it. That is x axis value is 10 and y axis value is 0. So it lies on y axis. So I'll give 5 comma 10 that is it neither lies on x axis nor on y axis okay so please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic please stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on youtube thank you